My name is Daniel Cohn, and I'm a painter, and I'm interested in the space of science. I got an email from Todd Golub, who had uh, just seen my work in a gallery in Lenox, and we started a discussion about um, what's similar between art and science. And, and fairly quickly, we got to a point where we felt like you could describe, rather than describing art and science as um, opposite ends of a subjective objective spectrum, where science is objective and art is subjective, and they don't can't really communicate because they're, they're polar opposites. We felt like um, you could actually describe them as um, human attempts to describe the world or understand it or uh, represent it. And so from that point, it became obvious that when you set them up like that, it's very easy to communicate. There are, there are no boundaries. There, there are differences, but they're basically on the same direction. My hope for the Broad is that um, for this particular commission is that it brings to a building where a lot of discussion in science is going on another layer of meaning where which interweaves with the research being done. So one of the things that I developed fairly quickly was doing um, grid pieces and so I would put together uh, you know either a three by three grid or three by four or four by four um, and do a visual impro improvisation based on discussions that I was having. The, I would name the squares by their grid order and their date. So a square of nine might would be, you know, October 3, 2007, 1, October 3, 2007, 2, et cetera. And then if there were a second grid the same day, it would start at 10 through 18, and then 19 through 27. And, um, and so when you put them in a browser, they line up as a string. And depending on the aperture of your browser, say if it's nine wide or eight wide or 12 wide, the size of the thumbnails, you have a secondary order that happens this way. And I found that secondary order much more exciting than the primary order of my nine square grids. And so I realized that there was something there beyond what I was doing. There was some other order and there was a strange similarity with the work going on around me in which scientists developed experimental situations to gather data and then sifted through that data algorithmically to look for patterns and then tried to validate those patterns, find which ones were an effect of the noise of their system and which ones were meaningful. And if they were meaningful, what did they mean? And then reiterated their process. And so all of a sudden I was in this kind of, you know, by, by no planning, uh, I was sort of in a, in a, in a process of metaphoric relationship to the work that was around me. And so all of the work that's come since then is playing with the set and growing the set. So ideally what I'm trying to do is that each floor grid structure is going to embody a visual structure that may or may not play with an idea in science. I'm trying to loosen the strings a little bit to give myself freedom. But So it might be about molecular space, or it might be about sequencing, or it might be about the CMAP or something like that. Um, but as with many ideas, they travel. And so each floor is also going to contain bits and pieces of other ideas and other floors. And as you travel the floors throughout your day, you will reconstruct, maybe just from the corner of your eye, or sometimes you'll ignore, but other times you will create connections between parts.